Self-driving cars being hailed as the perfect marriage between automobiles and technology, a convenient way to multitask on the road. But are these driverless cars being programmed to target certain vehicles during a crash? And which cars are getting marked with the bullseye? Here now is the car coach's Lauren Fix. We also have Jared Levy alongside of me. Lauren, I, I mean, it makes sense, but it's frightening. It makes me uncomfortable. You know, algorithms within the car, when there is an accident that's right. about to happen, they have to choose in which which way to go and, and make decisions. Um, how does it decide what to hit when it's going to hit more than one thing? Well, obviously, it doesn't want to hit anything right. at all because the idea is to safely have you clear anything that's around it. But remember, we don't have car-to-car -car communication yet. That's coming down the roads. And at that point, you're going to find it even easier for a car to tell another car, hey, I have to swerve to the left, so you move over too. But a conventional older car may be something that you need to consider. I mean, think about all the, the factors involved, the sensors and the information that it's gathered into its CPUs. This is something, you know, there's a lot of ethics involved, but I think in reality it's but a Lauren, lot of programs and I, a, lot, a lot a lot of logic that needs to be addressed. Wired did a breakdown on this, and, and you know, they, they raised some interesting ideas, and, and, you know, when it sits there and it has to decide, you know, it, does it hit a larger vehicle, or does it hit a motorcycle, does it target the lighter vehicle, you know, it's, it's deciding who, in which scenario do people get less hurt? But I'm wondering, like, you know, if it's based on weight, how does it know if it's a pedestrian? Like, it seems like there's a lot of room for error here when it's trying to calculate what's going to do the least damage if damage is going to be done. What about that, Lauren? Well, I, I think, obviously, if you see a pedestrian in a crosswalk, it's going to address it and stop as quickly as possible, quicker than you and I would nope. be able to react. And that's one of the most important things is that the idea is to avoid a situation, whether it be a, a deer that jumps in the road or a, a person who makes a bad choice next to you. So the, all yeah. the accident avoidance that's already in place today would actually help you be safer in the car. Obviously, it's not targeting it. This is not military grade, like hunting down another car to hit of choices. Yeah. So that's something that needs to be a Jared, real quick, people what do you need think? to understand before I, I, they purchase one of these cars. Scary. And for those of us in the street that see these cars. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a scary thing. Also, think about the insurance repercussions, right? Um, it, it, how do we figure out who's at fault? If your car steers you into somebody right. or another car, that's are you at fault? Point. Is the car a part, at that's fault? That's a great point. Yeah. All right, we're going to leave it there. Thanks to both of you.